Hi, my name is Fabrice Trollet and I am the Matlow Product Manager at all for tech Welcome to this Matlow Tutorial Session 3. You are going to learn how to manage requirements in order to test traceability with a test suite or filter or model with requirements. Now, let's see how to link some requirements in your model. First, open the Requirements tab. You can manually create a requirement right-clicking on specification document and giving it a name. In the description, you can write or pass the text of your requirement. You can also import requirements from different formats. Click on File Import requirements from Rekif. Rekif is a requirement format used by Doors. Open the extract requirement baseline from Doors or from a previous Matlow export to Rekif. You can see all requirements, the one you want to delete. Select the requirements you want and click on Finish. Now these requirements are displayed in the Matlow format. You can also import and handle your requirements from ELM, Application Lifecycle Management. Connect to Quality Center, filling in your connection credential and complete the other field if necessary. Then you got a remote access to the test case module, test lab and resources. Delete all requirements previously imported from Ricky format, those imported manually. And now, import these same requirements from ELM database. If we check these requirements in Quality Center, they are the same. They have been previously exported from Matalo. These requirements, you can import them either by group or one by one through a dialog box which allows to select those you want to import. For example, choose a requirement that you update in the ALM with the aim of checking that the update is correctly done. Instead of CC, write Cruise Control. After update the view, right click Update. And you can see on the Requirement 2 description, pressing Cruise Control is displayed. If you import them again, a conflict is displayed. Select the Requirement and you can see that on the previous one it is indicated CC. And on the new one it is written Cruise Control. Tick it, click on Finish and the requirement is updated in the Requirement Library. Now let's link these requirements in your model to manage the traceability. For the first one, when the system is disabled, the speed shall not increase. Open Disabled State and select the transition where the speed doesn't increase, the check speed. In the Requirements tab, on the transition, drag and drop this requirement. This requirement is also linked on the set minus transition. Then, when you push on Cruise Control button, the system is activated. Between Disabled and Enabled, select the transition and link the requirement. For the requirement 3, it is when you deactivate the system, so link it between Enabled and Disabled, also when pressing the button. The 50 km per hour requirement. If you drive slower than 50 km per hour, nothing shall happen. You are between Disabled and less than 50 km per hour. Next, set plus is when the system is activated. The speed increases when pressing on set plus. You check it in the enabled macro chain. For set minus, it is the same macro chain but on the other transition when the speed is decreasing. Speed cancel it is only when you are enabled, so set it on this transition. Break also in enabled. Link it there. The clutch pedal, also when you are enabled. We set it on the transition going to cancelled. And finally, resume, it is when you are cancelled and to go back to enabled. You linked all these requirements. Generate again some test cases 
Let's make them quite different, small and random, but all different. Choose user oriented plus filter, set it on 50 transitions to get small test cases, except that here they don't cover all your model. So add more transitions, around 100 test steps, to get test cases not too long but which still cover all the model. After generation, you really reach 100% of coverage transitions of the model in accumulation. So check the traceability coverage, select all test suites with Ctrl A, then right click add to project. These test suites are recorded in the project explorer and on your hard drive. It is mandatory to check the requirement coverage. Click on report requirement coverage to create the requirement coverage report. You have two options, either to create a test suite report relative to requirements or requirements relative to test suite. Select the requirements that you want to check the coverage and the test suites. You can select them all. This report shows for each requirement the relative test suites. Open it in full screen and you can see that the requirement 1 is tested in the test suite 1, 10, 2, 3, in fact in all of them. But the requirement 10 is only covered by the test suite 10. Then create the other report requirement coverage and for each test suite you can see the relative requirements. The test suite 1 covers the requirement 1 and 4, the test suite 10 covers all requirements and the second only covers the requirement 1. The test suite 4 covers the requirements 1 and 4. You can also filter the part of your model on which you don't want to pass, either unticking the macro chains in the chain view or directly selecting the requirements you want to cover. For example, choose one requirement, break. And clicking on the preview button, you can see the filtered model with the prerequisites which make sure you cover this transition. So, you will get a smaller model. Select Clush, click on Refresh and display it in blue. You can see the possible paths in the model. You can select any algorithm, for example minimum arc coverage and it only generates test suites for the selected requirements. Computing automatically the test prerequisites and post-requisites based on the selected requirements and chains. As said, Matelo automatically generates the test prerequisites. It starts the engine, drives slower than 50 km, and it crosses one branch of the selected macro chain. Then it goes faster than 50 km. And you can see that it is only passing by clutch and brake states using two loops. Then, the vehicle slows down to go back in the selected chain and the test case is over. You can also manage strategies. You can rename it with the F2 key, with the name that you wish. For example, strategy break and clutch. Or you can create new strategy clicking on create, selecting other requirements and you can go from one strategy to another just clicking on them. Finally, you can also delete these strategies and create a new one with the default values which are automatically selected. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them directly in the video comments. To be notified of our future Matlow videos, please like this video and subscribe to Matlow channel. Don't hesitate to connect, follow me on LinkedIn.